So, what is the topic that we discussed yesterday, sir? Anyone remembered? Yes, data types and its properties. Yes, very good. So, in the yesterday's session, we started a new batch on Core Java. Of course, with the duration of seven weekends, only Saturday and Sunday session will be there. The timings of the session is from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Fees for this batch is 5,000. So yesterday and today is the demo session. From next week onwards, that is coming Saturday onwards, we will have our regular classes. And even I explained the syllabus which we are going to discuss very clearly. And what are the extra facilities that I am providing also, I explained clearly. And even we started a topic called data type. So what is mean by data type? It represents the type of the data which we are using. Okay. So I told uh, by considering some employee management system. So what are the different data types that we can able to analyze? And in Java, we have both the primitives are there, objects also there. These objects is also called as non-primitives. What is another name for these objects? Non-primitives. Okay. And any point of time, we can convert a primitive to object and also object to primitive. What is the name of this process? Primitive to object is called as auto-boxing. Object to primitive is called as auto-unboxing. And the most commonly used data in any programming language is nothing but what a string. And we have seen what are the primitive data types. At the top level, we have four primitive data types like integers, real values, characters, boolean. And in the next level, we have eight data types are there. Integers are again classified into byte, short, int, long. These are called as real numbers. Real numbers are decimal values, float and double. Character and boolean. Remember, string is not a data type. Okay, it is an object. String is not a data type, it is an object. And total, how many primitive data types are there? Eight primitive data types are there. And we have seen some properties of these data types. Like every data types comes under which group and what is the keyword name and how much size it is going to occupy and even the range of the data type. And if you are not providing any value, what default value it is going to take and the corresponding wrapper class name. All these things we covered very clearly in the last session. So up to this, if you are not having any doubt, please confirm me. We will have a kind of quiz and then we will go for the next topic. Any doubts up to this? Clear? Not from me, sir. Yeah. No from my end. Right. So if you have just uh, try to use any other mobile or system that you have. So just we will have a small kind of quiz. Now. So just uh, try to use any other mobiles. Why? Because um, the question is going to be displayed on my screen. Okay. So try to log in by using this ID like kahoot.it. This is the URL. And after entering into this URL, it will ask for game pin. Try to use this game pin and it will ask the name also. Try to give your name and the login. I request everyone to please participate. Very good. Uh, sir, I do have only one mobile with me right now. And in that, I am uh, looking into this training uh, screen. 
maybe from tomorrow uh, next class onwards i'll try to participate in this game yeah sure sure no problem any other at least okay so i will start with these three members no problem let me start so total we have 15 questions just see the question on my screen and select the option in your mobile so in java we have both the primitives and the objects so the answer is nothing but Of course, only three members are there. In the leaderboard, only three persons will be there. What are the two Java data types? So the correct answer is primitives and non-primitives. I told in Java, we have primitives and non-primitive data types are there. Choose the right statement about Java data types. So the correct answer is all the above because integer data type uh, are nothing but what short int long real number data types are nothing but float and double character data type is a care like everything is a correct. So the following are part of uh, a data type except DL. DL is not data type. Okay. So the answer is none of the above. So we can't type true in between underscore. Underscore is not allowed. Okay. Anyway, after completing literals, you may get clarity. No worries. The correct answer is all are invalid. So which of these data types store real numbers? Double. Double data type is going to store real numbers. Read the question carefully and select. So the answer is string. String is not a data type. Okay. Primitive. Primitive not. It is not a primitive data type.
So which of the following data type uses true or false? Boolean. Boolean is going to use a true or false. So which of these data type represent 16 bit whole number? They are talking about the number. So 64 bit means what? 8 bits. Sorry, 8 bytes. Long size is nothing but what? 8 bits. 8 bytes. That's why long is the correct answer. Even double is going to take 8 bits. 8 bytes. But they have asked only related to the number. So we don't have integer, we don't have integer, we have int, but we don't have integer, that is a crown. Which of the following data type is most like text data type, text. So the answer is a string. String is nothing but text type of data. So Boolean is a logic related data type. What is the size of double data type? Double data type is going to take 8 bytes. 8 bytes. Just now we covered. So the correct answer is nothing but what? False. Math dot min value is used to find minimum value of a data type. So this is not the correct syntax. You people confused. In the place of math, what we have to take? We need to take the wrapper class. Okay, which wrapper class minimum value you need to find out? That wrapper class name we have to take.
default value for boolean so the default value for boolean is nothing but what false so anyway only three members are there that's why those three people came so you can see the scores 11789 11375 points 5497 okay so like this we are going to have a quiz on each and every topic okay so i hope uh, you enjoyed sir any doubts some person is asking some doubts any questions sri rag he is asking one question uh, sir uh, today is my first demo i am having few questions for program execution we will execute from the command prompt or we will use ide as today every company is using ide in the real time we have to use ide only but at very beginning to practice we have to use a command prompt okay in the command prompt no one is going to help while typing the program so if you are getting mistake from the mistakes we can learn so many things that is the reason so in the colleges in the training institutes for learning purpose we are going to use command prompt don't worry in our syllabus also for certain topics we are going to use ides i will show you how to use different ides also don't worry okay is there any other question please confirm so that we will start Can I start? Yes, sir. Right. So, as you can see, in the last session, we completed the basic data types. Now, let me start introduction related part. Okay, sir. First, first, I am going to talk about Java history. Okay, so Java history. like who introduced java how the name java came all these things we will see see at very beginning at very beginning sun microsystems is the vendor for java sun microsystems is the vendor vendor for java that means what so this java officially sponsored by this sun microsystems at very beginning okay of course later this one got changed to oracle now the entire java you can expect from this oracle oracle website okay if you want anything you have to download from oracle website so at very beginning we have sun microsystems what is the initial name of java sir it is called as oak programming oak programming language oak programming language so at at very beginning they are using this word later this name got changed to java which is nothing but a coffee cup symbol a coffee cu cup symbol will be there for logo and what is the actual name java sir it is a coffee seed name coffee seed name so with the name oak already some programming language is there that's why they rejected this name and immediately the they went for a new name called java which represent coffee seed name when they are working the very popular coffee seeds in their area is nothing but what so java that's why they selected this name sir who introduced java james gosling james gosling so under team team he is having a team with almost five members they introduced java so the official first version of java came on 
so 23rd january 1996 what is that name jdk 1.0 version anyway i will i will explain what is this jdk full form and all in the later classes so jdk means what as of now remember so java development kit jdk stands for java development kit in detail about this we will see in further se sessions okay so this is nothing but just introduction to java sir okay what is the initial name of java it is called as oak programming language who's who developed java james gosling and a team what is the first version that came jdk 1.0 so in which year this is introduced 1996 that's all sir nothing more than this okay do you have any doubt on this please confirm no sir any questions no sir right <clears throat> next uh, let us go for java editions what are the different types of java editions that we have see this java is available in three editions sir what is the first one java standard java standard edition what is the first version java standard edition what is the second version that we have is so java enterprise edition is there what is the second edition that we have java enterprise edition what is the third version so java micro micro edition total in how many editions this java is available it is existed in three editions let me talk about this in detail the first one is java standard edition when we are talking about a standard edition so what things will come so first thing is nothing but it is also called as j2se sir what is mean by j2se java 2 standard edition which it talks about only fundamentals if you are learning only fundamentals then it is called as what standard edition in the standard edition we are going to learn how to write the java programs what are the basic elements that are required those things we are going to focus okay and it is also called as core java what is a technical name that we are giving for this it is nothing but what core java core java next uh, by using this what kind of applications we can able to develop stand alone applications sir i want to develop one small desktop application or i want to develop one application which runs only on my mission so such a type of applications are called as what stand alone applications the applications which you can able to create and you can execute in your mission not in the server okay so the application which you are developing and you are going to run in the same mission so such a type of applications are called as what stand alone application by learning this java core java you can able to develop stand alone applications where it won't have any client server architecture without client server without client server architecture it will be there next sir can you please tell me some examples for such a type of applications we have calculator in our mission it is a stand alone application there won't be any server paint application sir i want to find out factorial of the given number by using some graphical user interface java program i am going to develop by using some swings sir do you know this particular program is going to run only on your mission where you developed such a type of applications are called as what stand alone applications so if you learn core java very well you are going to be strong in fundamentals by using these a small small executable applications you can able to develop so this is called as what java standard edition we will talk about this enterprise edition within few minutes sir up to this any questions no sir
right coming to the next one java enterprise edition java enterprise edition sir what is mean by java enterprise edition by using this enterprise edition it is called as j2e okay sir where we are going to learn advanced advanced topics where you are going to learn advanced topics related to the java it is also called as advanced java okay so where we can able to develop distributed applications okay distributed and web applications so the applications which can run on web browser such type of applications we can develop which uses client server architecture means what so the application which you are going to develop is in one system and you can run that application from the entire world from anywhere in the world you can execute that application such type of applications are called as what distributed or web applications sir examples for such type of applications is nothing but what now we are using gmail right the server is located somewhere in usa but we can access from our mobile our village sir how it is working because it is a web application where the data and application is available in one place so we can access through url from anywhere even online ticket online ticket reservation online ticket reservation have you observed we are sitting in our home and we are going to reserve tickets for a movie or anything sir even this zoom application so zoom application is available somewhere so we logged in and we are communicating with each other okay what is these applications these applications uses client server architecture means the mesh application is going to install in one server and we can run from anywhere so these type of applications are called as what enterprise applications and we have java micro edition is also there which is not that much popular sir sir it it is called as j to m e java to micro edition which uses internally micro programming which uses internally micro programming and the main purpose is to develop mobile based application if i want to develop any mobile based applications we have to use which runs on mobile mobile hardware it is going to run on mobile hardware or mobile os okay sir examples for this is nothing but in the olden days we have java games we have java games that java games are completely developed by using this micro edition and uh, sorry to say it is not up to the mark it is not up to the mark we know so android these things are playing an important role in the mobile domain so this micro edition is not that much popular that is the reason we don't have any demand for this so we have to focus on j2 se and j2 w that is enterprise edition and standard edition by using standard edition you can learn fundamentals by using enterprise edition you can learn advanced related concepts but to enter into enterprise edition compulsory core java knowledge must be required these are nothing but what are the different editions that we have in java as of now do you have any queries feel free to ask questions it is a theory concept uh, any queries sir, sir with respect to the topics explain now i do not have any question but any idea like once you complete this fundamental session like uh, j2sc do you mm. have any idea to start java enterprise edition as of now no sir there is they know there won't be any weekend batch but regular batch we will start okay okay sir thanks sir any any questions please respond everyone no sir right now so we need to talk about um, the next one it is also theory point java versions what are the various java versions which are existed sir we have so many versions are there in java 
day to day so they are developing minimum two versions per year the first version is called as java 1.0 which came in the year january january 1996 the next version java 1.1 next 1.2 1.3 1.4 so 1.5 1.6 1.7 up to they used the word called 1. Point something like that later they changed it to java 8 from where oracle corporation taken the charge next we have java 9 java 10 so java 11 java 12 java 13 java 14 okay java 15 java 16 java 17 java 18 java 19 okay java 20 also available so java 20 was released on march 2023 so then we have java 21 which released in the month of september 23 so then java 22 is available which is released in so i told in every year two versions will be there march 2024 we have java 23 which is the latest version last month only they released so like different versions are available you may have a doubt sir what is the difference between from one version to another version it's a very simple sir language is the same rules and regulations also same fundamentals everything is the same the only difference is they are going to add some new features. For example, when we are doing any Java program, any Java application, we found that this is the commonly used requirement. Now, instead of developing every time by the user, if they keep it as a library, then it will be useful. Then you can request so Java people to look into this and you can trigger a mail so that what will happen they are going to analyze all the mails whatever they received and they are going to identify what is a common point on that they will work out and they will release in the next version like that there are some new features are there you can see some people may use the word called lambda expressions some people may use the word called functional interface so stream api like there are n number of things are there which came in the latest versions that's why i have given almost 50 videos 50 videos by explaining each and every version property like 50 versions i mean 50 new features so the main versions are nothing but java 8 in java 8 we have so many new features are there so these new features, I am going to share the videos for you. Don't worry. Up to this, any questions on Java versions? No from me, sir. Right. So the next topic, so what we have to discuss is, sir, what are the softwares, okay, what are the softwares required to run, what are the softwares required to run Java applications, so what softwares are needed to run the Java application, sir, we need so many softwares among top four I am listing out. Remember carefully, the first thing is we need some editors. Editors in the sense what? To type the program, we need some editors. Sir, where we are typing the programs? Generally, we will type it in Notepad. Still, if you need advanced version, we have Notepad++ plus plus is there. With the colorful text, we can type. And we have one more editor with name Sublime Text. And we have one more editor with name uh, Edit Plus. Edit Plus. Have you observed the tool which I am using for typing the program? You can see this is called as what? Edit Plus. Edit Plus. And we have Autumn Editor is there. Okay. And we have VS Code. 
we can use any of these editors. What is the main purpose of editor? To type your Java program. After that, since we are at very basics, we need command prompt. We need command prompt to execute the Java programs. Luckily, by default, by default, it is existed in every operating system. You can install any operating system in your machine. So by default, this command prompt is going to come. Okay, by default, in every Java application, I mean, in every operating system, this command prompt is available. We are not required to install explicitly. Sir, after that, we have to install Java latest version. We have to install Java latest version also. Sir, what is the latest version that we have? Java 23. Okay, we have to install Java latest version in your mission. After that, sometimes we need to install our working with IDs also. We have so many IDs are there. One is nothing but Eclipse. Okay, and we have Intelli, IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, and we have NetBeans is there. Like so many softwares are there. So I will explain how to execute the programs in all these IDs. These are nothing but softwares which are required depending on the situation and depending on the topic, we will use all these IDs. But at a very beginning up to fundamentals, I'm going to use the combination of this edit plus and command prompt. Okay, I'm going to use the combination of edit plus and command prompt. Sir, so up to fundamentals, I'm going to take this particular scenario. Any questions up to this, please confirm. No questions, sir. Clear, guys? Yes, sir. Right. So let us go for next one. Sir, now I am going to explain steps to execute. Steps to execute Java application. Sir, I want to develop one Java application. What steps we need? Don't worry, I will explain the installation later. Assume it is already installed in my system. Then how to execute the Java application? So what is the first step? we have to select we have to select any proper any proper editor editor okay for writing for writing java program okay to write java program you need to select a proper java editor sir sir as of now i am going to use the basic editor called notepad at very beginning I'm using notepad. Sir, I selected the editor. What is the second step? We have to write a Java program. We have to write a Java program. So based on based on syntax rules, so given by Sun Microsystems or Oracle, whatever rules and regulations they have given, based on that rules and regulations, we have to write a Java program. Now, I'm going to write the Java program. Sir, in detail about this Java program, I will demonstrate later step by step. First, we have to take a class. Any name you can take. I'm taking the class name as nothing but what? Test. So, after that, we have to take public static void main within bracket string array ERGS. This is common, sir. And you need to take open bracket and close bracket in between this. How to print a message? I am taking system.out.println. So hello followed by good morning like that. Don't worry. In detail investigation about this uh, each and every word in the program, I will demonstrate. As of now, just to try to understand. So class, it is a completely object-oriented programming. We have given a class name and we know every program execution always starts from main method. That's why 
the main method syntax I have written, it is the format compulsory you have to take like this only. And in C language, we are using printf to print the result. So in different, different languages, we have different statements to print the message. But in Java, what is the statement that we have to print the message? System.out.println. Just we are going to print, hello, good morning. Sir, after typing the program, what is the next step that you have to take? Go to file and click on save. Let me document that. So what is the next step, sir? We have to save the, we have to save the Java file. Okay, Java file in proper location. We have to save it in proper location. So with extension, with the extension as .java compulsory you have to save the file with extension dot java only sir what is the class name that i have taken test i will try to save the file with the same name sir okay in c drive i have a folder called a test inside this folder i will save what is the class name we have given test that's why i am saving the file also like test dot java so it is telling it is already there do you want to replace? Yes, I want to replace. This is nothing but what is the file name that we have given? Test.java and this is the program. What about the next step? I will explain. Up to these three steps, do you have any doubts? Please confirm. No, sir. No, sir. Right. So what is the fourth step? We have to open, we have to open command prompt and we have to move to the location. Okay, we have to move to the location. So where we saved our file. Okay, so we have to move to the location where we saved our file. Just I am opening the command prompt. Okay, I am opening the command prompt and I am going to uh, move to the location where I saved. In which folder I saved this? In C drive test. We are already in C drive, but not in test folder. So what I am going to do, cd backslash. It is a command by using which we can come out from that. Then cd space a test. I entered into the folder where I saved programs. Then what is the next step that we have to use? So Java C, okay. So test.java like this we have to compile let me document first so what is the next step we have to use we have to compile we have to compile java program by using java c command so which command we have to use to execute java c command and how to run so we have to run the java program we have to run the java program by using java command so these are the two commands that you need to remember so let us see sir i typed java c test dot java just hit the enter if any error is coming it will display but we don't have any errors that's why it is returned to the next prompt then how to run java space what is a class name that we have what is a file name that we have test press enter you can see what is a message that we are getting Hello, good morning, like this. Okay, this is the way how to compile and how to execute the Java program. Don't worry, multiple programs we are going to discuss where you will get more clarity. Sir, if you are having any doubts up to this, please let me know. Otherwise, we will see some conclusions, some important points related to this execution of the Java program. Any questions? No, sir. Right. Now, I am covering so many important points now. Please listen carefully. Sir, Java is case-sensitive, case-sensitive programming language. <clears throat> sir, what is mean by case-sensitive programming language? It will treat lower case characters under uh, uppercase uppercase characters 
as a different it is going to treat lower case characters as a different upper case characters as a different have you observed the name prakash and the name prakash are different not same are different okay not the same sir is this point is clear please confirm yes sir clear yes sir then one more note sir how to do the compilation sir compilation in the sense what whether your program is having any errors or not how to check just now i explained one command anyone tell me what is that command sir java c file name dot yes. java so java c is the command what is the syntax we have to take file name dot java remember this syntax sir now i want to execute the java program which command we have to use sir java java c yes we have to use a file name but actually which name you have to take class name and one more important note sir it is highly recommended okay it is highly recommended to save the file okay with the class name only class name only where case is important okay sir i have used a class called test what is the file name that we have to give sir test.java test.java sir my class name is good then what is the file name that you have to give good, good .java. .java. sir my file name is a test class name is a test which name we have to give lower case letters test .java. but it is not recommended it is okay but it is not recommended because we have some naming conventions are there anyway we will discuss about this later we have certain rules are there. one of the rule is every java class name must starts with a capital letter like that we have to use okay sir any questions up to this no sir clear huh? now sir i am going to take some example programs just with this conclusions sir i don't want to take every time note the notepad okay i want to take this edit plus the biggest advantage of edit plus is you can go to new and you can see already there are some file formats are there sir it is telling java you can click on java sir what difference you observed from the notepad to here have you observed the total Hello. skeleton the total skeleton and the colors are there here so we are not required to write anything only your business logic you have to perform assume i am saving this class as triple a what is the class name that i have taken triple a sir tell me how to save the file with which name we have to save triple a dot java yes very good so in the same test folder i am taking so triple a dot java okay so what is the file name sir triple a dot java i have taken then how to compile the program anyone tell me java c space so triple a dot java we have to use how to execute java space triple a suppose if i am taking java space triple a like this what will happen sir what error we are getting that is very very important what is the error that we got could not find or load main class triple a have you observed it is telling it is it is not possible to load the main class called triple a and this is the new error message what is that new error message it is caused by java dot lang dot no class def found error with which class name triple a wrong name you have taken maybe you need to take triple a like that we are getting sir one more thing is it more meaningful error message or not please confirm sir everyone is this error message is helpful for you or not please confirm 
is it in yes. readable format so this is a new version error message okay now see what i am going to do is i will run this program in java 8 version old version now see what will happen when you are trying to give triple a it is working when you are giving small a see what is we are getting sir could not find our load main class triple a sir where is this extra line there is no extra line this extra line is added in java latest versions not in the old versions so this is also one of the small difference between java version to version any doubt friends up to this no, sir. clear on yes yes sir next I am changing to Java 22. Now, listen. Sir, next example. I am creating one more Java program. Okay. I am creating one more Java program. I am giving the file name, uh, class name as a triple B. And the message is nothing but. So, only hello Prakash I am giving. But at the time of saving, I am giving triple C dot Java. So what is the file name that I have given? Triple C. Then tell me how to compile the program. Can I use Java C space triple B dot Java? Please confirm. No, sir. No. If you are using what message we are getting, because you didn't save it with the triple B, right? That's why what it is telling file not found. Then how to compile Java C space so triple c dot java you have to take now how to execute can i take java space triple c please confirm yes no no no, no sir why because class name. class name is what triple b if you are trying to execute we will get this error so which is the name that we have to use triple b that's why to avoid this confusion Okay, to avoid this confusion, it is always recommended to save the file with the class name so that we can avoid the confusion. You may have a doubt, sir, if your file name and class name, I mean in your Java program, if you have multiple classes, what we have to do, that is different scenario. We will talk about that later. Okay, sir, any doubt up to this? No, sir. Everyone clear up to this? Please confirm, guys. Yes, sir. All right. Next, a few more things I want to cover here. What is the next note is, sir, I'm going to create a file generally i will use a test only i am going to save this file with so test.java it is already there replace it now observe instead of public static sir can i take static public please confirm hmm please confirm can i take yes no sir can i take I will let us it. let us check let us check java c i am taking test.java there is no error if there is no error happily we can run am i right sir so the point here is we can interchange we can interchange so public public and static public and static there is no problem there is no problem at all this is nothing but example what we have. Is this first note? Is it clear, guys? Please confirm. Yes, sir. Sir, one more thing. I will keep it as a public static only. 
can i change main void here instead of void main please confirm no no, no. because it is a method name right we know how the function uh, syntax is first we have to give return type then we need to give function name so here function name is what main it does not return any value that's why we have given void is interchanging of these two is allowed no sir not allowed suppose if you are trying to do what will happen we will get a definitely error message what is the error we are getting have you observed public static main void public static main void it is telling error message it is invalid okay what is a note here is so we can't we can't interchange we can't interchange void and main we can't interchange void and main like this i am taking if you are trying to change what will happen we will get error sir any queries on this note no sir then sir note number note number 4 the next note is listen carefully it is also very very important for interview sir i am creating a new java program with the file name as test.java but i am not using any main method sir can i can i take a program like this please confirm can i take a program like this i think no we can't okay now let us see i am compiling the program is the program is compiled yes perfectly it is compiled it is a valid java program but during execution what will happen my jvm there is one person is there internally the name of the person is jvm we will talk about him later that jvm is always looking for main method is there any main method here no right then what will happen you can see there is one error message main method is not found in class test in the test class there is no main method can you please define the main method as public static void main string array args can you define the main method in this syntax like that it is telling okay what is the note here is so without main method without main method we can write java program okay without main method we can write java program sir it compiles fine it compiles fine but but during execution during execution what will happen during execution of the program during execution of the program okay so jvm java virtual machine jvm will always will always search for which method main method so since it is not since it is not existed since it is not existed in java program in java program so it will throw it will throw a runtime error this word is very very important because during execution only the problem came right during runtime error saying what is a runtime error main method not found like that we will get sir this is nothing but example program what we have okay and once if we execute this is the output which you are getting sir up to this any questions please confirm no sir right sir next i am taking main method but here instead of string arguments i am taking integer arguments can i take like this hmm please confirm can i take like this i think no okay let me check sir same point sir we can we can change 
we can change the type of uh, ERGS in main method. No problem, you can change. But during execution, during execution, JVM will search only, only for which main method? So string array. Search for, so string array arguments main method. That's all. So it, it will compile fine. There is no problem at all. This program is going to compile fine. But during execution, it is a searching for a string array, but we didn't get like that we have. Sir, is this note is clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Now, on this continuation, one more program I want to take. Sir, I'm taking main array and also I want to take string array. Both I'm taking. Here, let me take a, as a hello one and here let me take it as a hello two. Mm. Tell me, is the program is valid first of all? Oh, two main methods are there. Hmm. Valid or invalid? Not valid. Valid. Not, not valid or valid? Not valid. Not valid. Now, let us compile what will happen. It is valid. So, in Java, there is one concept called method overloading. <clears throat> we can define multiple main methods by changing the arguments. Okay, it is valid. But during execution, which main method it will execute? That we know very well. Which main method it will execute, sir? Always string array argument main method it will execute. Any doubt, sir? <clears throat> Clear, guys? Yes. Now, so last example, very, very important. Sir, I am taking this one as also string arguments. This one also string arguments. Tell me, is the program is valid? No, sir. No, no. What is the problem? You can see main method is already defined in the class test again why you are defining it is already there so two main methods are not allowed two main methods with different return i mean different arguments is okay two main methods with the same arguments is not allowed sir understood everyone clear guys yes sir so last one now observe, I'm creating a new Java program, sir. Nothing is there in the program. But I'm saving this file with uh, triple Q dot Java. Nothing is there. Empty program. So triple Q dot Java. So nothing is there. Even not even a class. Now tell me, is it valid or invalid? Is it going to raise any error or not? Please confirm. Yes, sir. It will raise some error. Yeah. So it is a valid Java program. So nothing is there because Java program means what? Whatever program you have written, it must follow rules and regulations of Java. But nothing is there. So then everything is okay, right? So it will accept. But during execution, what will happen? Have you observed? Could not find our load main class triple Q. Triple Q class is not there. Like that it is telling. It is not talking about the main method. It is talking about the class itself is not there. This is also very, very important interview question. Is it possible to create an empty Java file? What answer we have to tell? Yes, it is possible. There won't be any error. But during execution, it is going to throw an error. Clear guys, everyone? Yes, sir. That's all. Any questions up to this? Clear? Huh? Yes, sir. So that's all. This is nothing but introduction, steps to required Java program. 
so steps to execute java program and even we completed data types from next week we will have a regular class like we will start from keywords identifiers everything and next week uh, we will have uh, a sample quiz on introduction part whatever we covered okay okay yes, sir. sir sir i do have one doubt regarding the syllabus mm yeah so actually you have written and showed me right and apart from that uh, from the durga soft telegram app uh, from the advertisement i took one course content so mm. it's written in your name in that mm. i can see like uh, io streams networking awt swing reflection api annotation remote method invocation so uh, those sir, those, yeah. those things will comes under advanced java actually uh, mm -hmm. it is uh, it is a syllabus uh uh for uh, full stack java okay, okay. that way they copy pasted as it is that's why in the demo session i have written the syllabus very clearly and i was streams comes here only okay okay and the swings and all these are deprecated we are not using i told somewhere swing word also those are to develop small small applications which are not that much required okay if you want uh, one small mini project i will explain on that matter of okay half. okay then this uh, syllabus right sir whatever is displaying in your screen will it be there in our uh, any of the folder in our durga soft website huh? no no like you will be sharing the ah uh, yeah like yeah. notes and all right notes. ah yeah it will be there in the top if you want i am sharing on the chat window you can see yeah please yeah i shared thanks sir Right. Any other questions? No, sir. Right, guys. Then we will meet for the continuation on next Saturday. Next Saturday. So we will have a class at 7 a.m. It is a paid session. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Right, guys. Thank you. Thank you.